Jamie with Out of Bounds and Jamie and Abby. I am Jamie Robinson, the wife of our GM, John Robinson. And I'm Abby Flitner, the co-founder of Nashville Guru, a local website about Music City. Today, our episode, episode three officially, was with Caroline Bryan, Luke Bryan's wife, and Amy Davis. Yes, Amy is actually the owner of Less is Living, which is an amazing organization company. She's actually done two of our houses um, here in Nashville. Um, not saying that we have two houses now, but <laughs> <laughs> we moved around a lot. But anyway, and we just thought it would be fun to get together and have a couple of best friends yeah. on the episode and um, just sat around and drank some wine and talked about all things. All all friendship and uh, Brett's barn, which, which was, was Caroline a, and Luke's. I, love it. I know it was so cool. And then she has a sassy little clothing line, Best Bad Influence. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot wait. There is a sweatshirt there with it's like a hot pink, like um, what is it called? Uh, like a lightning. Bolt. Yes, we need did you that. See it? Yes, I love it. I love yes. it. I can't wait to get it. I but know. it was great. It was super fun. They're best friends, so we keep calling it our best friend episode, and um, we hope you guys enjoy it. I'm so excited today, y'all, to have this episode, a friendship episode with you two ladies. Amy, I've known you now for a couple of years, and because of you, I have followed Caroline, and y'all just look like y'all have so much fun together, and it's such a genuine friendship that I absolutely adore and Abby and I just recently met and I can tell you right now we are gonna be really really close <laughs> I mean it's only been a couple of months has, right yeah it feels like I've known you my whole life I know and I feel like that's how you two exactly where did you guys meet originally do you, you want me to say this with the G okay <laughs> with the G. what does that mean it's from a movie that we saw a long time ago yeah <laughs> But so Amy and I actually met at a bar. Was it 2004? It, it was something so. like that. But we actually met at a bar and we just hit it off. And somehow that night turned into us riding a, a mechanical bull. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. And then we wound up in a Walmart. And I, I'm not kidding. <sighs> The keys were left. This was like 2 o'clock in the morning. The, the keys were left in like this little tiny bulldozer type thing. And I looked at Amy and I said, I'm driving that. Oh, <gasps> gosh. Well, I cranked it up and I ran over an entire display of Oreos. And I just, I looked at her oh, and no. I, said, I said, we got to run. <laughs> and we did. And we bolted. Oh, my and God. And then Luke we was talked the, the next lot. day. Yeah, Luke was in the parking lot like, what are y'all doing? I was like, oh, go, my go, gosh. go. Oh my gosh! And the next day we talked on the phone, like we exchanged numbers and stop. Was it in Nashville? Yeah, oh of my course gosh. it was. That's yeah. awesome. a mechanical bull. Well, I figured, <laughs> but right. I didn't want to listen. Yeah. Yeah. I know <laughs> every good night ends with that a mechanical bull, but the Walmart's a step and further. a bulldozer. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> why not? We both Where? love a good Walmart, and actually, we knew we were a match made in heaven when I said, "She goes, I want to get on that," and I said, "Well, the keys are in it." Uh -uh. She's like. It's their okay. fault. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah they the shouldn't Walmart's leave fault. them. They, they left the keys. They shouldn't fault. leave them. Negligent. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I'm on your side. So, yep. <laughs> That's amazing. Exactly. Oreos went down. And we ran. And we yeah. ran. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. And what did the husbands do? Now, at this point, let's back up a little bit. Your husbands, y'all, they are friends. They mm -hmm. are yes. childhood friends, correct? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long? College. College. Since college. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And were you married at the time? Were y'all no, married? No. I actually had just gotten engaged. Um, I had met Luke before I met Caroline. And probably it was maybe a year after. Yeah. It was about so. a year. Yeah. And then I had gotten engaged and I met Caroline and we just, we just hit it off. And yeah. I love so that. she had known my husband at the time since, so, since, since college yeah okay. mm -hmm. oh really oh, yeah. yeah oh that's yeah. awesome the, yeah. I love it so were y'all married at the time we were just dating so okay. we dated in college and dated for about two years and then we separated for almost five. Oh wow and then w when we got back together 
we were dating for about a month and he goes, you have to meet this girl. And so I was like, okay. I was like, sure. I was like, all right. I, I wasn't very excited because uh-huh. I didn't know anybody, but I met her and it was a girl he was talking about. <laughs> and I love that. Next That's thing awesome. I know, we're riding a bull. Yeah. Because <laughs> she was like, she had known John forever. Mm-hmm. And she was like, hold on. John Davis is getting married. What is happening yeah. oh. in this world? I was like, wow, he's getting married. I have to meet her, but I'm yeah. kind of, uh, <laughs> yeah. but it turned out great. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Amy, I want to tell everybody how I met you. Okay. Um, we have a mutual friend, Tara Tans, as yes. I would like to call her, the queen of Zaya, as I have on my legs. And she told me one day, she's, my friend is starting this organization company, and she's really good, and she knows how how I am very not organized. So I called her and I'm like, okay, I really need her number. And you walked into my house and changed my life. Aww. And it was just so amazing because I mean, it wasn't just you, it was your mom, your sister-in-law, and it was just so amazing. What made you want to start this company? Well, it was a lot of things. It was like a lot of different things going on in my life at the time. And I was going back to work and I was interviewing with some different companies and it's funny, I had told Caroline, you know, I really want to do this organization thing. And because she saw my closet <laughs> in my pantry. <laughs> so, so it was true. probably let's, a lot like mine. So let's, let's be damn honest. It's oh because she saw my closet. She was like, this is horrible. No, but I love I'm going to fix stuff. this. Like, Did she make you throw away a lot of your clothes? Yes, like, it she was bossy. She was I, the she, worst client she ever. She was not nice. I need her. You she know was, what? So I know you know my friend, Catherine Spencer. Yes. She walked into the house randomly and they met. And next thing I know, they Stuff have is getting thrown away. Thrown away. I'm like. <laughs> wait a second I still wear that and they're like no you don't but it, it, it takes oh a God. friend <laughs> to tell a friend so she wouldn't tell a client that but because she's my best friend she was like you're never gonna wear this again and I said well I might she goes no you're not so it does take a friend to come in and like tag yeah. team you and make yes. you feel like crap for sure <laughs> about yourself yeah I still look for my little fringy boots Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. would you so wear them again I, I don't know. If you pause, then you won't yeah, wear it. You now won't I don't you. because now I know people don't like them. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, they, they needed to go. They served their time. They needed to go. So how long ago did you start the business? It's called Less, it's been, correct? Yes. Okay. It's been two years. And But what I was going to say is, I you know, long story short, I had gone and interviewed and did my backgrounds in marketing and business. And I was like, I think I could actually do this. And she was like, just do the organization thing why not just try it and I'm a perfectionist I'm scared of failing 100% and I was like okay if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna just jump in and like really do it so yeah. I started reading up on the industry and listen to podcasts and audiobooks and somehow that little idea is now amazing and but I do have to thank you and all I have a couple You're of welcome. friends. Yes, it's all because of you, Caroline. <laughs> it's all because of you. She did all the work. I didn't do it. No, but just that nudge because I would wake up in the middle of the night. I know it's in the world of businesses, not this like huge deal. But for me, it was like I would wake up in the middle of the night and be like, I can't do this. Yeah. I don't know if I can. You know, why it's would scary. I think I can do this? Yeah. But then, you know, I'm all. I was almost forty at the time, and starting all over with a brand new career. I had raised my three kids mm-hmm. and to like go and take that jump was a really big deal for me. Um, and I think for a lot of women, mm-hmm. um, it would be, but it ended up being amazing. And I would text her in the middle of the night and say, I don't really think I like the name less. What else should I do? <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it was just like the neurotic. And then I would text her back and say, please I love don't the name text less. me at three. Yeah. <laughs> You please, just woke me up. Please text don't, me less. Do not do, just, <laughs> please, mm, yes, please text yes. me less. Just, just oh pick God, a name. Awesome. Just don't text me at three because you woke me up. <laughs> How dare you? So true. Oh How gosh. often do you have her come in still to your house? You constantly. Well, she's she, in my house every day whether I want her there or not. <laughs> yes, she's due. Y'all live like right next to each other, yeah, correct? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we yeah, see each other awesome. almost every day. But, I mean, she hasn't like organized in my house in a long time because she's so busy which is great i mean i just mm-hmm. really don't have time for your house I'm thank you very, very i appreciate busy. that uh-huh. <laughs> no. 
I actually oh. do try, believe it or not. And then she'll be like, Amy, I don't want to deal with that right now. We're not we're not talking about my spices right now. Just chill out and have a hamburger. I can't stand that. Yeah. Oh my God. She'll start pulling out spices. The other night. She came in the other night and she, my kitchen was a disaster. And she was like, I'm cleaning your kitchen. I was like, no, you're not. I'm exhausted. I don't feel like it. Get out of my kitchen. Literally just stormed through my kitchen and then brings me a box. Where do I put this? And I look <laughs> at her. I'm like, exactly where you found it. I don't feel like dealing with it. And she was like, okay. Oh my. She's like, all right, I understand that. <laughs> She is okay. too. She even she really did admit a couple of days ago it's time for the closet. It's oh, just time. Did. It it is, yeah. but but let's deal with that later. So <laughs> let me ask you this, since y'all do see a lot of each other. Tell us any little any spats, any fusses amongst y'all. Do y'all fight a lot? Like sisterly fight, you know? Not really. We don't fight a lot. I mean, we'll have like a little quick two minute just spat, but then somebody eventually starts laughing or we'll just get it over with and yeah because you know but that no but nothing big no no. but she'll say like I'll come over and I'll say why are you in a bad mood what is some what did it Mm -hmm. say I'm not in a bad mood yeah oh Yeah. yeah so it's like I can read her body language um you know how when you know people you just know yeah. people yeah. yeah um so we can call each other out or she can even tell me like you need to get it together yeah like <laughs> that's you a good need, you need to fix your hair yeah like you need to go wash oh your hair God, y'all you need to put some powder on your nose <laughs> when like, she doesn't oh. brush her hair well it's a lot to- it's it's really bad <laughs> and she has such great hair but when she doesn't brush it it's it looks like Cats have fought. <laughs> oh my gosh. An extensive, horribly bloody fight in her hair. Oh my gosh. And because she has so much hair. Yeah. And I'm like, Amy, how, I was like, how long will it take you to get this out? She goes, you don't want to know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I would have brushed all my little thin ass hair out and she still has a head full. Well, they put a, for my 40th, when we went to the Bahamas, uh-huh. all like, we, there's 12 of us. Oh, and wow. so they put a little fake roach. <gasps> Well, they put three I in did my it. hair Sorry. throughout the day, and it sat in there until yeah. 2 p.m. If that tells you anything that oh I really my. didn't and even you did not notice. even know it was in there. I don't brush it's, it because it gets it frizzy sat right there in the oh back of her head, my. and we took pictures of it. I was like, "This roach is going to fall out at so at some point at the worst time for her." <laughs> How did you figure it out? I was just she fi- finally brushed. I finally it. brushed my hair before dinner. <laughs> did you think like it was real? Ter- no, I she knew it knew. wasn't. Because you're like like master prank artist, right? That's like your thing. I try. Because I follow you (laughs) on Instagram and it is hilarious. What is is it? Prankmas? What is the Christmas? Pranksmas is coming up. Pranksmas. How many days is... Do you do it? 12, 12 days. Oh, It's like 12 days of Christmas. Okay. So we just went with it. And so here we go. I don't know. This will be our fourth year. So you do a prank every day? Mm -hmm. For 12 days. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite one? So far, my favorite one of all time, it has to be, we did a prank on Luke's mom with um, a comedian, Chelsea Lynn, Uh and we had her really believe that Chelsea Lynn was a crazy stalker. Oh my gosh. And so Chelsea tackled Luke and Luke's mom just lost it. But it was was amazing. It it turned out great. So I don't know if we can ever really top that one. I like, well, I, I saw the one of you just annoying your son and like the hunting. Oh, dear hunting. Yeah, he's still mad at me about that. Epic. Because I have two kids and I just mm-hmm. know, I'm like, that is so good. She just was like being really loud, like slurping her drink and stuff. It oh, was so really funny. funny. But she, he didn't know that she was just being annoying. Well, he, like, he, on he purpose. thought I was filming for a hunting show. Uh huh. And so that's what he thought. And then I, I was just being loud and horrible and. I don't know how you didn't crack either. I just thought for <laughs> sure you would start laughing at some point. I don't know how I didn't, no. but we just. She gets in character. Like we dressed up as the Golden Girls. Oh, I um, love that and picture. Did, oh. That that was awesome. She, when she gets in character, she's like, no, you do this. You do this. Like you you should have been an actress 100%. Like, no, you, I would be no terrible. You know, how to, no. you know how to get into character for sure. <laughs> I'm a psychopath. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are your boys' ages? Okay, so biologically, we have Tate and Bo. Bo's 13, mm-hmm. Tate's 11. And Till, who is our nephew, he's been with us since he was 12. He's, he'll, he'll be 20 in a month. 
Wow. Yeah. And then we have our nieces, Jordan and Chris. Jordan just got married. She's 26 and Chris is 23. Wow. I will tell you that um, I read the story in People recently, and that was the first time I really knew exactly what had happened. And that had to have been really, really tough on y'all. And kudos to y'all for stepping up and doing that. That takes big people, you know? No, thank mm-hmm. you. It's um, amazing. It, you know what? It was, it, it will always be awful and horrible, but yeah. I do have to, you know, give thanks to our entire family because they get looked over a lot Mm -hmm. because, but you know, the, the other aunts and uncles, everybody stepped up and helped. Everybody did. So, and they get, you know, they don't get talked about enough, but with these kids, they were, even though they had a tragedy of losing Mm -hmm. a mother and a father, they had an entire family. Everybody wanted these kids. Yeah. And that doesn't yeah. happen a lot. But mm-hmm. so we have a really, the whole family I unit is pretty, it's pretty amazing. That is amazing. And now both of your boys, that's one thing. They are best friends as well, right? They are. Oh, Lord, yes. yes between, Amy, how old are yours? They are 11, 13, and 15. So we have, between the two of us, they're fifth grade through ninth grade. Mm-hmm. Like one in every grade. So we're like hitting up every single grade. <laughs> Fifth, sixth, seventh, yeah. eighth, ninth. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. So many boys yeah. too. Yeah. So many. All boys. They smell. <laughs> they, <do>. they eat <laughs> everything. They smell. <laughs> everything oh, is sticky. sticky. <laughs> yes, it is. It's so oh, true. Sticky. It. You're going to have to prepare me. Mine's eight months. My little boy. Aww. The other one's a girl, so I don't know. Enjoy that but now. the girl is like, she's clean and like not very the messy. The boys are so disgusting. The boy, I know. Yes, I'm worried. I'm worried. My middle one is actually very, he's not, like, out of the three, he's always been a little bit more, he was always more orderly, but now that he's become a teenager, that's not exactly true anymore. So I thought I had, like, one that was going to be, yeah, no, maybe he'll come back around, but you have two girls, so. Yeah, they're, they're. They're all over the place. They're clean. Well, I Phases. say that, y'all. The other day, I got into my car, and it was on Monday on the way to school. I opened the door. I was like, whoa, what is the smell? <laughs> Bailey forgot her soccer cleats over her the shoes. weekend in my car. And it was, Ew. I mean, a tournament, two-day mm-hmm. tournament, and it smelt so bad. I had to go get my clean, my car cleaned yesterday. Yeah. It's the yeah, worst smell like, ever. I'll oh. call you in a minute. I got to problem i gotta figure this out <laughs> she's like i'll call you in 10 it's the worst love it. it's the worst smell ever like, it really I've is i've got a rule in my car because my boys play football you don't take your shoes off after practice because yeah. it will you can't send your nose hairs it, it will <laughs> make your eyelashes just drop it's like the grinch no Ooh. like don't take your don't take your, your cleats off in the car. It's the worst smell ever. So they just leave them on, then they get home and I throw them outside. Yeah. And, then, and then take them ugh. off outside. Oh. It's, it's yeah. bad. Ooh. Yeah, I'm the same way. <laughs> so what do you do when Luke goes on tour? Do you guys hang out and kind of like co-parent together? I feel like that'd be I so mean, fun. We're, we're both so busy. If we can, I mean, we'll hang out at night, but. You're so busy there's during just the day. So the much. kids I mean, going. Everybody has a game. Everybody has a practice. There's something that we really just don't see each other. Really. No, not enough. Like, yeah. You know, our kids are so busy. They all have football. And like right. on the way mm-hmm. here, I was like, so what do you have tonight? Because it's always someone has some practice, practice or a or, game. Yeah. Are they on the same teams or no? no. Oh, okay. So everybody so, spread out. Yeah, yeah. That's hard. Oh, that's fun. Do y'all want to do that now? Yeah. Why Let's not? I say we do that. So I guess while I'm opening it, I can go ahead and talk about this a little bit. This is a couple of a couple of the NFL owners, including Bud Adams, our um, original owner, Amy Adams Drunk's father, used to be called the Foolish Club. And so the Titans have decided to do a wine club and it's reds, it's whites. Um, so we're going to try it out today. Yay. I'm so excited. I actually, I'm a Big. I mean, Amy, uh, like we were just talking about, she has done my wine cellar. It's not even a cellar. It's a closet. No, it's awesome. But um, she knows. I just absolutely love nice. my wine. So I'm so excited. But they're all named something. Oh, yeah. So that Let's one's see. rough Amy's and dressed. Promise. Amy's Promise. But oh, they're from that. Napa Valley, too. Which Amy's is that a Chardonnay? Oh, my gosh. Did y'all? Hey, let's open that one, did the wine? Should I shout out the winemaker? <laughs> Yeah, do it. Just Thank you, you so much for this what, gift. What, what did he promise you, Amy? I don't know. <laughs> what did he promise me? 
What's your guys' favorite restaurant when you go out? Girls' night. Where do we? At or night, do you we don't go out home? at night a lot. We'll go eat at like 4 p.m. Oh, I do that. And then go home. Oh, yeah. We're the early birds. I want to be home by 8 in <laughs> Me, bed. That's how we are. Yes, that's my goal. Yeah. Yeah. Goal. No, I mean, in like close to where we live, we're always with the kids and go to El Sombrero. Like oh, yeah. all the time. We go to Brick. Well, well Brick, Brick Tops, Tops is our place. Yeah. We go to Brick Tops. So if I ever like, I'm like, hey, do you, it's usually, we here, never set a lunch date. I'll just text yeah. her at 1030 and say, Hey, I'm available. Are you available for lunch? I'm available yeah. for lunch. And for like one hour. I love yeah. Brick I don't Tops. Know if this is it's a heavy a pour. One. This is like an odd glass. I do like them though. That's not a heavy pour. That's not a heavy pour. I don't, I don't know. Do you want it all so, the way to so the top? Like, no, because I'm going to try <laughs> both. Remember? Here, yes. Oh. Cheers. 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 I thought you wanted white. Here, you want it white. Well, I was, I was going to try both. Oh. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie's like, I'll she take it. it. I love it. Cheers. I love Cute. it. Cute. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Right. Cheers. Oh, yummy. Good. Oh, that is so Amy's good. Amy's promise was very oh, this one's promising. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> they delivered that is on the really promise. Delivered on that promise. This is actually a funny story. What? Talking oh, about God. Um, going and picking up kids, how you were driving Luke's truck and you opened up the door and like the, didn't oh, like, God. Yeah. Some, didn't like a beer out. can and a no, knife. No, a bunch of beer cans. So I, I had to, <laughs> oh my, gosh. My, my car was in the shop this, this past <laughs> spring and so I was driving. So I carpool with neighbors. So I drive four kids to school anyway. So my, my car is in the shop. So I had to use one of Luke's annoying big step up like you need a trampoline to get up in there and so and the kids get out at drop off well teachers stand there because yeah you know welcoming the- last year they would check temperatures <laughs> oh. and ask questions and you know well welcome well as the kids get out of the back like four beer cans <laughs> a <laughs> knife and a box of cigars oh my fell gosh. out everywhere and I, I looked and I was like Holy, I probably shouldn't say the other word, but <laughs> all I could do You're was like, wave. Teach, could you get that? Oh Have y'all gosh. seen you know, um, uh, back in the day on Saturday Night Live, Pat? Yes, yes. All I could do was go. Eh. <laughs> How was she yeah. shaking? And she just hopped her little booty right back up there in the truck. No, and I never left the car because they opened the doors. Who grabbed so you the never even cans. got the stuff out? I know. The, back the end? teachers did. <laughs> That's even worse. Because you're not allowed to get out or we're not. They like to get out. I could have, but I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> like, hilarious. I'm just going to go. I was like, I'm in Luke's truck. <laughs> this is not me. It wasn't me. But yeah, That's beer cans, a big oh knife. Gosh. And cigars That's fell out of everywhere. a good weekend, right? <laughs> I was like, I am the absolute worst parent. But they know us. And so I drove off. I was like, screw it. <laughs> I mean, they know I'm not drinking beer or smoking a damn cigar or, or getting a deer driving to school. No, hopefully not. Ugh. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. That actually happened at soccer uh, la- last year. Um, one of the moms had her chair out. And she even, pa- I heard her pass a comment to her husband, and I hadn't met her yet. And she said something about her wine glass sitting right there. She's like, you did not empty out my chairs. And um, sure enough, as they were leaving, as they were leaving, she closed up her chair and the wine glass just fell out. <laughs> so I went and I gave it to her. She absolutely mortified. It's it was hilarious. hysterical. It was wow. so funny. It happens. It's it very does. common. I wouldn't. <laughs> well, you I have a good street. Your street yeah, is street amazing. I remember that when my kids were young. We lived in Boston, and we had one little cul-de-sac street. And it was four houses. And it was, well, all four of us, by the time we left, all had young kids. And we would. We would stand out in the cul-de-sac. Or my neighbor across the street used to build a, a snow sofa uh, whenever it would snow. And yes. we would stand oh, out fun. there in our snow so suits it's around so the fire. Fun. And it's just so good to have amazing neighbors, you oh know. Gosh, yeah. And I bet y'all have a blast. Oh, yeah. the snow, the last big snow we had. We oh, I saw a video of you. <laughs> oh, what'd you do with it? it well, was it's so our fault, snow. by the way. <laughs> it's always our fault. No, it's not. But I got on <laughs> cold. the the top, well, <laughs> the car hood. Was it a car hood? It was yeah. so oh, to, slow, yeah. to do yeah. sledding. Yeah. That and was, I was so much like, fun. I needed like 18 helmets because I on the way down, I was like, I could die. I mean, it could happen. You ever thought it? Yeah, I always ever. I'm actually very cautious. People think I'm not, and it's so funny. I actually am, yeah, aren't I? Like, I cry on roller coasters. Yeah, legitimately, it's terrible. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> I can't do water roller is. coasters. I can either. So uh uh-uh. uh 
she's like a just a thrill seeker jump off the edge of a no no i wouldn't cliff. do that you know i won't no, do you that do, i've seen you jump off the edges of cliffs <laughs> What? Do not, you? Not, not, <laughs> no. Like yes, at the lake have. or at something? The lake. At the lake. Yeah. But, but not a cliff. I'm not going to go. That is a cliff. I wouldn't do cliff. that. It's not that high. I did, and I thought I was literally going to die. I think I cried then, too. I don't cry very often, by the way. I sound like that on this podcast. Until she's Just on a roller coaster. Scared. God. <laughs> yeah. I do when I get really scared. I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah, I cried on a roller coaster. And I'll laugh at you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Where are y'all originally from? I'm from Georgia. What part of Georgia? Sandersville, Georgia. Never heard of it. I know, and you probably <laughs> never will. It's a small town, but it's it's wonderful. It's just a great small town. Do you like Nashville? You like living up here? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I'll never leave. Yeah. yeah. How many years has it been now? Oh, my God. I guess this summer will be, well, we're leaving summer. I guess it's been 17 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think so. 17. Wow. What about so, you, Amy? I'm from West Tennessee. From okay. a little town called Rutherford, That's Tennessee, right. which is amazing uh -huh. I still keep in touch with so many friends from there and it's I think there's one stoplight still mm -hmm. to this day and we could drive 30 minutes each way to Walmart like there was different cities you could just choose your city it was 30 minutes to get to Is Walmart. Is it by Union City? It's 30 minutes away. Union okay. City has a Walmart. Yes. yes Union City has a Walmart. <laughs> yes, that was if one of the three. nobody knows this is Union where my City. husband is from. Oh my gosh, oh, I never he, knew yeah, that. you didn't know that? Yeah. He's, he's a West actually boy? he is. He's from Troy, Tennessee, but Union City is the big town oh with my the gosh. Walmart. So maybe y'all can find something to go ride on. Oh, I love Walmart. <laughs> Columbia, they Tennessee, they take Walmart. the keys out now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have, they have signs they've up. already spotted us. <laughs> well, you can always find one of those. What are those things whenever we used to, they were little, you used to. What? But like hover around. Yeah. Hover around yeah, on yeah. The, that's yeah. what, yeah. I've, yeah, I've they take those for, from us too. <laughs> We're not allowed on anything. Lock it we up. We can't even put a quarter in the horse. <laughs> so funny. We can't. Oh, that's funny. That's yeah, funny. yeah, I did not. I, I didn't, had no yeah. idea your that's husband was a from. West Tennessee boy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why you love him. West Tennessee people are the best. Yeah, but I met him in Louisiana, uh, so there no. you go. <laughs> he still got those roots. <laughs> he still has the roots. You are correct. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I have to hear more about the mother-in-law. Okay. Because I just feel like she's hilarious. She's your, crazy. Your relationship yes. yeah, is it's not really normal. sweet, though. <laughs> it is. It is. It's not normal, but it's very sweet. It's very fun. Yeah, we have a, it's a unique relationship. It's so funny. I mean, we can, like, she called me today and I was driving because I, I tell her this all the time on the phone. I can't say this, <laughs> but anyway, I, I answered the phone in a, a very naughty way. And she answered back in a very naughty way. <laughs> and all we can do is laugh. She goes, did you really just say that? And I was like, well, you said it back. <laughs> and so so that's like our just kind of how. Love it. That's how we, I don't know. Yeah. It works. I, I love it. My favorite was whenever she got on the plane recently. And she was just cussing up a storm. Yes. <laughs> I died. I've watched it multiple times. I thought it was because so funny. Because she wasn't picked up. Well, it, it's a long, it's, it's not a long story, but times got switched up. And so she was a little bit aggravated. But then, you know, within 20 seconds, she's fine. She's, she's good. Yeah. <laughs> she's back to it. She's she like, can just bad morning. Yell at me all you want. I don't care. I'll take it. I'll yell back. I just love real people, though. So I think it's funny. just so That is our relationship. Amazing. She's seen us fight and then we're good and then we fight and, and then we're good so and then she's seen Luke and his mom fight oh it's hilarious it is, it's hysterical I mean and there's no you can't make it up no and then she'll storm <laughs> out and but she's, she'll the, come back she's the best she's the best mm -hmm. that's awesome she's so funny and is she so you said y'all met in high school college college mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so is she, are they from Georgia is Luke and he's from Georgia, so we grew up two and a half hours apart. I met him my first Thursday night out in college. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Are y'all the same age? He is three and a half years older. That's me and John. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. We dated for almost two years and then broke up for mm -hmm. five and then got back together. Wow. So, that's probably meant to be, yeah. though. Do you think it, like, was, the it best was such thing a good... That, it was the best thing that could have ever happened to us. Yeah. Because oh, if totally. you meet that... I mean, you guys met that young, too. Mm -hmm. But it's We like, were 19. You yeah. just don't know. Like, oh, really? I just yeah. didn't yeah. know. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. So you, you would have been 18 or 19 as well. I met him when I was 18. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you met John? I was 22. 
So and that's then, young too. And then we were married when I was 23. Okay. So yeah, oh, we that's met. Quick. We were together mm-hmm. for about 18 months before we got married. That was yeah yeah. But uh, I've told her the story, especially after I've had a couple glasses of wine. I'll be like, you know, Luke was the first friend I ever met. Yeah. But it's so funny. This is back before Luke had a record deal mm-hmm. or he was a songwriter mm-hmm. in town and. He's still a songwriter, Amy. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah. He's still right. <laughs> kidding. Luke, we love you. You're a great songwriter. Um, That's hilarious. He would take much offense to that. I know. <laughs> he is an amazing songwriter. Let me go ahead and say That's that. Back when he Let was me just back up. He's an amazing songwriter. But back before he, you know, was Luke Bryan, it was so cool because I just knew Luke as like the funny, just friend that, did not care about what anybody thought about him. And he still doesn't. He's still he the same changed. person he hasn't changed that all. I met That's nice. that many years <laughs> ago. And you're the same way. I mean, yeah, you're I still care. the same girl that would climb on a... <laughs> but, <laughs> but they take oh, the Walmart. keys out now. <laughs> but now they take the keys out. They... Yes, that's true. What's the easiest way to like maintain organizing once people are done it? Because well, I feel like I'm really good. Like, I'll get in there one weekend. I'll do the whole thing. Okay, Jamie, you bring needs to them hear back this. in. <laughs> Jamie, you bring, you have to bring them back. back. No. You got to bring them back in. No, okay. Honestly, I've done really well. Yes. As long as you create on the front end what's functional for the family and know, like, what they're going to be able to upkeep. Yeah. Like, don't make unrealistic expectations in the very beginning. Um, but Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> she cracks me up. <laughs> No, but I've moved her. Well, I haven't moved you twice, but I've done two, two of your houses. Homes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I feel like the second round, you were much more pared down, like well, got rid of a lot. Because you just did the other yeah. house. <laughs> Which is, so did it not make it easier whenever you moved? So much. Yeah. So much. And then it was my second move. I was like, I called her right away. I'm like, Amy, you won't believe this because I had just moved into that, to that other house. And I'm like, you won't believe this. I'm moving again. I'm like, okay, mark this on your calendar, please. I'm like, because I just knew right away that I didn't want to undo everything and try to organize it myself whenever I can't. I don't have that skill. Not mm-hmm. everybody has that skill. I'm horrible. We, I just don't. I bet I'll you just, do. Well, I'll like copy like a photo, but then my husband will mess it all up because, you know, I'll do like the glass containers with the pasta and the cereal and the stuff you have to dump. And he's like, why are we dumping stuff out of a box into another thing? And I'm just like, I don't know. It's that just mice. Mice. That sounds like mice like, get in yeah. there. Yeah. So yes. then, mice get yes. in okay. box? It's happened. Why you got mice? Yes. Just wait. Jamie. <laughs> what? Yes. Girl, yes. Why it's mice? called mice. That's it's why. It's called mice. Oh. No, Jamie, tell the story about you so expecting me. So right after Amy was there, <laughs> I didn't literally. This. <laughs> okay. Right after Amy was there. I went into my I went into my pantry. This is at our old house. I went into the pantry and all of a sudden I could tell there's like stuff everywhere and I'm like, "Oh no." And I lifted up some stuff that it was in boxes and sure enough there were little holes everywhere. And uh, so uh, uh, I, I, all right, I Titans Titans y'all better <laughs> pony up something cuz Jamie's got mice. <laughs> That ain't okay. We need an exterminator. Y'all got to do something. <laughs> she, she got mice. Y'all got a lot of money. <laughs> Jamie can't have mice. I can't have mice. <laughs> so I, I immediately I texted Amy and I was like, oh gosh, I got to go. I got to go to container store. Yeah. And I did it myself. Yes. She was like, give me. She gave me inspiration. Yes. And She's <laughs> like, this is happening. So then when you moved. Yeah. We were like. Okay, everything's everything is going in containers. Yeah, yep. yeah. But is it not? Do you feel like it's easy to keep? Oh, absolutely. And now I'm kind of a little bit not neurotic with it, but I'm like, that does not go in the chip bin. These are not chips, yeah. you know. Like I need stuff in the chip bin. See, you're. But organized. I need somebody like that to. I need somebody like Amy to that has the vision. I don't have the vision. To I don't put either. the system in place, and yeah. then you can upkeep it from mm-hmm. there. Yeah, and yeah. then you can adjust as needed. You know, right? But your sweet daughter. I remember I walked in in the middle of organizing, oh, and we had. This like, is Miss B. Yeah, Bailey. Yeah. We had, you know, the labels from chips were like up at the top and it said fruit or something. And mm-hmm. she went and put her apple in the fruit <laughs> thing way up top because she was looking at the labels, which I thought was so cute. So it shows like even kids, they yeah. really do yeah. once they kind of learn. But she was on it from the very beginning. So 
She's a mess. I mean, <laughs> she's she is something, y'all, with these stinky <laughs> cleats and. <gasps> I mean, it's she's something. Yeah. <laughs> She, okay. Let me tell y'all, this is really funny. So my oldest got in trouble for, I mean, my kids are really good kids. They don't lie about anything. And oh, she's, no, like, <laughs> <little liars. laughs> she really, like, really good. I was walking into a board meeting at school and she left a, her cheer bag in my car. And I was like, I texted her. I was like, you have your bag. And she's like, mom, can you bring it to the office after school? And I'm like, look, I can bring it to you right now. Just meet me in the commons and I'll bring you your bag. And she's like, I'm already sitting in class. And, um, I'm like, well, Taylor, we have 10 minutes left. And she's like, no, I just really can't. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go. I have 10 minutes left. So I I walk um, to where the office is, and I see two of her friends coming, and I'm like, can y'all let me into the school? Because it was locked. And her friend looked at me. She goes, Miss Jamie, what do you need in the school for? I said, because I have Taylor's cheer back. And um, she goes, well, why don't you just give it to her? She's right there. I'm like, that little buster. She's <laughs> walking up through the commons, just looking around. <gasps> she was not in her class. Was not in her class. So anyway, what? I was so, I looked at her. <laughs> I looked at her. I threw her tear bag down, and I just stormed off. <laughs> I'm like, you are go. so busted. Caroline's the other one. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> that's, that's great. So good. That's so good. Her. And then I gave her. I know this isn't really a bad punishment. I mean, punishment, y'all. But she's just that good. She never gets in trouble. So I told her, I was like, that's it. You have dishes for a week. And so that afternoon, Bailey is eating, and Taylor was doing the dishes, and Bailey drops her plate oh. into the sink. She goes, here's some dishes, <gasps> and walked on off. John and I about peed on ourselves. Oh. We're like, that little rat, she didn't clean her dishes. She, I mean, like, scrape them off or yeah, anything. she's like, here you go. It that's, was hilarious. That's, that's just called brilliance. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, she's a genius. She saw an sure. opportunity. She sure did. To dig one. And she <laughs> she <touched> sure did. <laughs> smart little cookie. Okay, I, I want to talk about Brett's barn. Yes. Because we have the shirts on well that's very everything. sweet i know yes. and they look really good on y'all oh, I love uh, it. well my niece brett she passed away when she was seven months old she had chd which is congenital heart disease but she also had down syndrome and so we started a barn a rescue barn to honor her and to help animals that have been abused or that needed a home and basically that's it and so we have a foundation and we so do a who big charity visit? It, or like do you have kids come visit we do. or what do you okay we can have well as as of now brett's barn is on our private home property so we have to okay. be careful but we do have plenty of family um children like once they're out of the hospital or i mean if, if they're able and healthy enough and so they can come see see the animals and play with them and it's just a good spot to let it's it's kind of amazing to watch parents that have been in the hospital for up to a year or mm-hmm. more and they can just breathe and watch their children run and play with animals. Yeah. But so that's kind of how it started and hopefully someday it'll go public. Mm-hmm. You know, we're thinking about things, but so that's kind of what it is. It's just to honor honor Brett. Well, I was reading about it and what I liked is um is it your sister or sister in law? Sister in law. In law that okay. And, and my brother, yes. Yes. Um she was like celebrating Down syndrome and like talking mm-hmm. about how like great like it's a positive it's, yeah, thing. It's wonderful. And I, yes. I like think that that's something that should be talked about because you don't you know you don't often think of that especially like when you're having another baby if you don't and know I mean because we didn't know you know we had no clue and when Ellen found out that's my sister-in-law what's so great about Ellen when she called me and this is sounds bad but it's it's not I, I was I was parking at a liquor store <laughs> <laughs> to go I was picking up stuff for a party and she called me and I was like, hey, what's up? And she was just crying hysterically. And I was like, what's wrong? And she said, I found out that, that Brett, that's, you know, obviously mm-hmm. Brett. She goes, I found out Brett um, will have Down syndrome. But Ellen never once said, why me? Why us? She goes, I can't stand the thought of somebody making fun of her. That, mm-hmm. was, that was Ellen's, that was the only thing that she ever said. And my brother looked at her and goes, why not us? Mm-hmm. And that just floored me. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, once we knew that Brett was, we just wanted her here. Mm-hmm. And then we found out that Brett had a heart 
condition that was sur- surgery was going to have to happen. And that's what took Brett is her little body just couldn't take the surgery. But just like our family, um, her surgery was supposed to be smooth. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. We were that one yeah. percent that it just didn't happen. But you know what? But God, he goes, take this, do something mm-hmm. good, change the the world and we always knew brett would somehow change mm-hmm. the world and she's doing it yeah she's that's doing amazing. it every day that's amazing so. it's hard to think of god gives you something you can't handle and mm-hmm. even though you feel like you can't handle it deep down you really can and there's a reason and there's a purpose that it has been brought to your family from luke's tragedies Mm -hmm. from brett and it's so hard to take um my daughter was handed down a couple of horrible things Mm -hmm. um alopecia type one rheumatoid arthritis Mm -hmm. um and that's the way we take it and i just love this brett's barn and I, it just, it warms my heart so much. We have our foundation. It's in the works of coming, and it's always been our dream to be able to do something like this. Yeah, mm-hmm. do so it. So I just, I love what y'all are doing and doing it for the little one. She's yeah, beautiful, t- by the way. She is. She is. Oh, the pictures are beautiful. She's mm-hmm. beautiful, and she's an angel, and she has changed our family completely for the better. And every tragedy that we've been given you know, we don't, we still don't understand, mm-hmm. but, right. but it's not our job to understand. It's our job to accept, right? to move forward and to try to, even though every day is not perfect, you know, I mean, cause Mm-mm. to try to stay positive and make yeah. something good out of something bad. That's probably why you guys are so lighthearted and amazing yeah. though, because you understand like life is so precious and and then comes the anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the, the key yeah. part about that, too, I love that you always told Brett, you're like, I'm going to buy you a pony. Oh, I, yeah. So, so that, that's kind of how it started. Okay. I, I joked around when, when Brett was born, I, I was with my brother because, you know, I was like, I'm going to ruin her because she was the first girl on our side of the family she born. She had a Cartier bracelet or diamond earrings Stop before it. she was born. No, I did. <laughs> I, I, I don't care. I will not apologize. It was a tiny one. <laughs> <laughs> whatever I, I don't awesome. I don't care so I, I was holding her and I was like Bo I was like I was like Brett I'm gonna give you whatever you want I was like I'm gonna buy you a white pony named Kilo and it was just a joke in our family and a friend of mine she volunteers for a rescue place mm-hmm. and she called me and she goes Caroline you won't believe this but we just we just rescued a mini white pony <gasps> She goes, I'm holding it for you. If you don't want it, I'll put it, you know, online or I'll, I'll, oh, wow. I'll tell everybody about it. I said, no, I want it. So we rescued two ponies that day and a goat and then three turned into like 30. And is this how the, the how you were like, okay, it's going to be Brett's barn. Mm-hmm. That's, yes. it. That's so amazing. We, he left town. Oh God. <laughs> oh God! He yeah. came. He, he came home, and I had a fence bill. There were their ponies, but he was fine. He didn't care. He he loves that those animals too. So, uh, were you raised with animals? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Totally. Okay. Yeah. So that okay. that wasn't anything new. Okay. Because right, there's no way I could just. Hey, honey, I'm getting a pony. <laughs> we've no, we've got. I mean, we've got plenty of help. Like that one over there uh-huh. helps out a lot and then a sweet lady named Karen she's the animal whisperer so we have help because it's a full-time job but mm-hmm. we love these animals and they're they're spoiled they're not <laughs> they're not abused anymore they are perfectly happy that's oh, amazing you rescued them I love it that's great well let's talk about your other um your little clothing line that you have I say little it's not little <laughs> Oh, the Best Bad Influence? Yes. It's still a baby company, Best Bad Bad Influence. Um, It kind of happened, well, at first I said no. Nicole over there (laughs) said, I'm going to do a website because I've, that's been a a, a joke of mine for years. I'm the Best Bad Influence, which means you're going to have fun, but you'll be home Mm -hmm. by like not nine (laughs) o'clock. I don't stay out late. I'm not I'm here for a, a, a night long time. I'm here I'm for a good yeah, time. Yeah, very boom and boom. I'm not bad, oh, but I like that saying. I mean, I'm just yeah. it's gonna be fun, but I I'm not staying out until two. So <laughs> we just did a website, designs, hoodies, shirts, 
etc. And it's done better than we ever imagined. And we're expanding. So I love it. It's in the works. We're expanding. Would you ever do a storefront in Nashville? I don't. I don't know if, if I want to dive into that. Yeah. I think online is as much as we can handle right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. And Nicole actually told me that you actually give your proceeds to charity. Most of them, yes. That's incredible. Yes. We do keep some to, to, to be able to order back more and, yes. and yes. buy more. <laughs> yes. But we do give a lot. But yes. Absolutely. That's incredible. 100%. Yes. I love that. Do you want to tell them where they can find you? <laughs> www.lessisliving.com and then on Instagram, lessisliving. Your new pictures, by the way, are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Those it's, black it's, and whites? It's called hair, makeup, lashes. A shower. A shower. <laughs> I wash my hair. Brushing, <laughs> brushing hair. <laughs> a hair brush. But thank you so much. I they appreciate it. They are beautiful. It. Thank you. We are at Brett's Barn, at Best Bad Influence, at Lana Braun. It's not Lena. Everybody I wondered that. Everybody calls me Lena, and I'm like, no, it's Lana, because that's a long story from college. A lot of Brian. What else? Am I forgetting some? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Brett's uh, Foundation. Yeah. Or what oh, is the... at Bright for Brett. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank okay. y'all so much for doing this for us. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Episode. But now, yes. like, I, know. I need to hang out. I want to go to Brett's Barn. So. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Yeah. And I'm yeah. coming to your neighborhood, by the way. Yeah, come over. I'd like to thank the Foolish Club today for supplying our wine. It was absolutely delicious. I have been so anxious to try it. If you would like more information, go to www.foolishclub.com.